at those little spring buds with the CN Tower in the background. What a beautiful shot of Toronto, our fine city. Good morning from Breakfast Television. So glad that you're with us today on a Wednesday. We've got Sid Sixero, who's complimenting everyone in the room. So it's going to be a good show and Meredith Shaw. Not everybody, but... And some of the compliments are fake. So I don't mean that. <laughs> and, uh, Figure out which ones. I, I am not going to punch you in the face. Really? No. I thought it was a 50 50 nope, shot. No, it is definitely not. Uh, okay. That is not happening. If you, I read it correctly. if you missed the segment before, we were talking about that. We've got some of the actors from uh, Mad Max Furioso. Furioso. Furioso yes. coming in the studio. And there was, there was some of that going on on yeah. set. Uh, there was, not well, on this it's, a, set. it's a violent film. It is. Any Mad Max, it's, it's not like a. No. It's not some soft genre film. It's, it's not it's, breakfast television. It's, it's, no, it's not breakfast television. <laughs> You look beautiful. Thank you, Sid. You Very look spring, handsome. summer like. Yes, bringing the blooms. I, I'm go. over my allergies. Thank you. Knock on wood. How, I you, think. you okay? Yeah, yesterday was very bad. Yeah. Because Mayor, Mayor came in yesterday morning and just went, Not good. Ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was me. Yeah, it was. Oh. Yeah, I was like, good luck to everybody on this show. I just, my head felt like it was 80 times itself. Oh, yeah, there's but. a lot of people out there that know exactly yeah. what that's oh. about. Um, I wanted to get to this before we move on here because I, none of us like to think about the pandemic for obvious reasons, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But there are certain memories I have of that time. And I, I want to I throw this out there even before I get to my point. Because I, I feel like we might get some, some tweets and emails about this, about the pandemic. And Definitely be, will. And bad decisions were made and mm -hmm. they didn't have a, I don't care for your opinion right now because public servants are running away from that job because of abuse. And I want to give some people some respect. So if you don't like it, too bad. Uh, yesterday, Dr. Eileen Davila announced that she is stepping down as Toronto's medical officer of health. Uh, officially, she will be gone in December. Started the job in 2017. Key, key figure throughout the pandemic when none of us really knew what was going on. Uh, along a, a, a similar line of thought, I also want to shout out Toronto Fire Chief Matthew Pegg, who also announced this week uh, that he is stepping down in October of this year. He served more than three decades of active service. He's been chief since 2016, and like Dr. Davila, played an active role there when John Tory was mayor of this city. And um, the one thing you can never say about John Tory is that he wasn't active and very present during that time. Uh, he was one of the most present politicians in the country. So I just, in this, in this moment in time where people are just having abuse hurled at them left and right, doing important work. I want to shout out uh, Dr. Davila and, uh, and Fire Chief Pegg for the work they did during a time when none of us knew what was going on, mm -hmm. and they had to try and make sense of it daily in front of a huge packed media room. Respect to both of you. Thank you for your service. And whatever is in your future, I hope you are happy. Thank you to both of you. I just wanted to say that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I echo all of those thoughts because you're right. I mean, there's so much going on in the public discourse that is just horrific. And to have people decide to dedicate their life to showing up every day to keep us as best they can safe, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot to be commended for there. And I think you're right. The tweets will come in. But this is important. When people uh, serve our city in the way that they have, uh, it's important to recognize their hard work and, and to wish them well. Uh, because, yeah, I mean, that's certainly, I, I think, in a, in, a, in a level since the pandemic, we're all very familiar with that term burnout. We're all familiar with that. I'm not saying that's what they're feeling, but we understand being done with something and moving on. And so we wish them the best and thank them for their hard work. Here, here. Mm -hmm. I know a closing line when I hear it. Good to see you, Mayor. Good to see you. Seven o'clock. Good morning. You're